a sense of uncertainty or spiritual disconnect, meet Pastor Richard Okadare, the senior pastor and founder of Christ Family Assembly Outreach, London. A father, husband and pastor with a prophetic anointing, preaching the undiluted word of God worldwide for over 15 years. He is a teacher, author and professional counselor, both therapeutic and spiritually, and is here to inspire your divine breakthrough. God continues to use Pastor Richard to encourage both young and old, male and female, and most especially couples. He is the editor-in-chief of the Awesome God magazine and your host of Awesome God. Listen here every Tuesday on PRZFM, 9pm to 10pm, and be greatly blessed. Hello everyone, welcome to the Hour of Awesome God on PRZ Radio 109.2 FM. I am your host, Pastor Richard Okpedari from Christ Family Assembly Outreach UK. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, tonight we want to discuss about God of Possibilities. God of Possibilities. Matthew 19 verse 26 Matthew chapter 19 verse 26 but Jesus looked at them and said to them with men this is impossible but with God all things are possible but with God all things are possible shall we pray eternal father we bless you because you're a good God we appreciate you for what you are doing in our lives and most importantly for opportunities. Thank you for this moment. Thank you for this radio 109.2 FM and thank you for all that are tuning in and those that will hear about your word later. We pray that it will bless every one of us. Your word will impact our lives and it will empower and enrich us. And all the glory shall come back to you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Yes, thank you for tuning in. And we thank God for the testimony so far. Matthew chapter 19 verse 26. Matthew nineteen twenty-six. But Jesus looked at them and said to them, With men this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Underline it if it is your Bible. All things are possible. I have come this moment to tell you that all your good desires shall be endorsed by God and you will achieve every day, every one of them in the name of Jesus. One of the things that amaze human beings, especially individuals, when you have a new thing, a new thing, is there anyone that has just had a, a, a brand new, a brand new house, a brand new car, or a, a brand new product? Number one, it smells. You will have that smell and sense of newness when it touch. When you touch it, either it is cloth or whatever, the fabrics, the texture. Very amazing, lovely, interesting. In fact, sometimes you you want to go to bed, but you something makes you the feeling, the emotions make you to stay awake. You wear it, you put it off, you put it on again because of the newness. And most especially if it is a new car. Every man loves a new car, especially if the car is BMW. Men are so proud of driving BMW. They boast about it. Not all men specifically, but majority men. You hold the car key with, with pride. You go to bed and you come out at the midnight and you view the car. Sometimes if you have the opportunity, you go around the car again and with the key in your hand, 
opening and closing the car you have closed the car and you want to enter into the house something prompts you that you go back out and you pull the handle of the car you are checking or cross checking is this car properly locked why because it's new in your life i have come to tell you that god of possibilities shall bring new things across your way into your life into your domain this season this moment in the name of jesus christ new things are very exciting you are excited about new things not only that you are amazed it's very interesting you are proud when when when, when you have something new you don't want to hide it you want people to see it you want people to congratulate you you want you want to talk about it this is the season that new things will begin to roll in into your life as you are listening this moment in the name of jesus the god of all possibilities will bring special brand new things into your life that will make you joyful if you are looking for spouse it will come and we love you as the apple of his own eyes and you will your, your, your the love for each other will stay fresh if you are looking for babies is coming in the name of jesus if you are looking for job you are getting good jobs and you will be well paid and the, the, it will be stress-free in the name of jesus if you are eager looking to start your business this is the season to start because god of all possibilities shall step in in the name of jesus yes new things fresh opportunities that awaits us this season i want you to go out with pride go out with, with, with this with the mindset that god of all possibilities is standing by you and with him you will achieve much in the name of jesus we need to look at history with the help and grace of god when you check the history the, your personal life or lineage you come from there are certain things you need to look at and perhaps take one thing or more from it that will enable you encourage you to move ahead in life you move ahead with encouragement with excitement if we look at joshua the book of joshua chapter 1 verse 5 the Bible tells us, and God told Joshua, As I was with Moses, I will be with you. I will never leave you, nor forsake you. How does that sound? If you are scared about future, if you are scared about new things, if you are scared and perhaps you do not know what the future holds for you, I want this scripture to stay with you. If God can tell Joshua that as I was with Moses, I will be with you, I will never leave you nor forsake you. God is telling you and I the same thing this moment. I've come to tell you that God is with you. God is with us. Matthew 1, 23, an angel visited Mary and told the Virgin Mary that you shall be with child and you will bear a son and they shall call his name Emmanuel and the meaning of Emmanuel is translated God is with us begin to tell yourself that God is with you in the journey of your life in the new things that you are about to start God is with you if nobody is telling you that let the word of God resound in your heart and begin to tell yourself, God is with me. Hmm. Perhaps you might be doubting, but I've come to tell you, don't be a doubting Thomas. Because when God appeared to Joshua 
and told him this word, Joshua was afraid. But God came to him and said, As I was with Moses, I will be with you, and I will never leave you, Emmanuel. God is with us. God is with us. And remember, Romans 8, 31 and 32, it says, If God can be for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all, how will he not also with him freely give us all things? If you are a believer and a Christian, the God can give a son away, his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, because of you and I. That he can reconcile us back to him. How will he not give you and I freely everything we desire? I've come to tell you this moment. You are serving God of possibilities. And Jesus Christ informed the disciples and people that were around. That with God all things are possible. You have stepped into the season of possibilities in your life. With God, all things are possible. Matthew nineteen twenty six, Jesus said to them, With man this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Great possibilities will begin to be your portion. And when Joshua was informed, all he has to do was just to go back and reflect how was God with Moses? And this is what I want you and I to do as well. You are not sure of the promises of God concerning you. Reflecting on the promises of God and his plan for Moses must encourage you. Firstly, Moses was the first abandoned child mentioned in the Bible. I do not know your past history. But I do not think it can be worse than that of Moses. Was abandoned by the mother. If you have time, go and check it. Exodus chapter 2 from verse 1 to 10. Because when the mother had Moses, Pharaoh then enacted a law in the land that they should kill all male child. Because of the prophecy that a deliverer is being given birth to and a plan to eliminate all men. So when the mother had Moses, she she was uncomfortable. Couldn't hide him for long. And um, after about three to six months in the house, he said, no, I can't continue this way. Let me go and throw this baby away and put him in the basket and took him to the river Jordan and put him there and said, let me see how the river will flow and take him away. And the Bible recorded that the baby in the basket was crying. And at that moment, Pharaoh's daughter came to the river to bath with her servants. And behold, one of the maid servants saw the basket and said, what is it that is on the river at that end? And they went and they looked at it. Behold, the baby was wrapped and in the basket and he called the princess say princess look at what is here and lo and behold Miriam Moses sister said that yes this is an Hebrew baby yes do you, do you need somebody to look a, a, after him I can get you a, a, an Hebrew lady who will look after him for you and she agreed. So lo and behold, Moses' mother was hired to look after her daughter under Pharaoh's roof using Pharaoh's money. Oh, I do not know the challenges, the struggles. Or how terrible your past has been. But I have come to tell you this hour. That God of possibilities shall step in. As I was with Moses. 
as God was with Moses, is promising you and I, he is going to be with us as well. This should encourage us. So Joshua, that you are afraid, you don't have problem. If you have been complaining and blaming your parents that they abandoned you, look at Moses. He was abandoned. But the journey of abandonment was very insignificant in his life. So you too, you better stop blaming anybody for any mishap in your life and trust God. Again, Moses was the first adopted son in the Bible. And in fact, Pharaoh's daughter, the princess, named him Moses. Named him Moses. So the name Moses that he bear was not even from the original parents, but from the adopt, from the mother that adopted him. And I don't think yours has been that bad. And that's the name we call him throughout his life until death, Moses. Remember, the princess was an Egyptian lady and named him. And that's the name he bared all his life. So why are you in particular and bitter about the name you bear? about the person that gave you name, about the way you are raised, about your uncle, your auntie, nephew, or people that adopted you. Why are you blaming people? Why are you blaming God? If God can tell Joshua, as I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I've come to, I've come to tell you, I've come to inform you, I've come to remind you this moment, this hour, that the Lord God of great possibilities will be with you as he was with Moses. Tell me, Moses was the baby of the family. He had an older sister Miriam and an older brother called Aaron. Therefore, it does not matter your position in the family. Your position among your siblings does not matter has nothing to do with your greatness has nothing to do with what god will do in your life your parents must have attachment to you as the first son as the first guy as the last girl as the last whatever but what god has promised and planned for you nobody can stop it remember moses the last one moses to be thrown away but now the way God stood by him, the way God raised him in a foreign land, in Pharaoh's house, that God can raise you in this foreign land. That God can raise you and make you great in a strange land. God is with you. God will advance you greatly. Every day of your life, is for testimony in the name of Jesus. You will encounter great possibilities this season because the God you serve is God of possibilities. If he has done it in time past, he can do it again and again. Again, Moses was a stammerer. A stammerer. And this affected his self-esteem and self-confidence. If you look at Exodus chapter 4 verse 10, Exodus chapter 4 verse 10, Oh Lord, I am not very good with words. I have never been. I am not now, but I am slow of speech and slow of tongue. God was giving Moses an assignment. And he looked at him and said, Look, I'm, I'm unable to, to go ahead with this assignment. Because, because of his personality, because of his inadequacy. So why are you condemning yourself to? Because of your inadequacy. Why are you in low mood? Because of your insufficiency. Why are you backing out and complaining about the task or assignment given you? 
Maybe the assignment looks too gigantic or too massive for you. And you think you cannot cope. God that has given you the assignment is the one that will do it, not you. Learn that if God has given you a vision, he will also make available the provision. And in fact, you don't hold a vision that you can run. So if God has given you the vision, realize that God will run the vision and not you. So don't panic. And when Moses insisted that, yes, the task is too huge, too gigantic, I can't do it on my own. Remember? God gave him a spokesman. God agreed to allow his older brother, Aaron, to speak for him. But behold, after the first assignment of Moses, Moses was always at the first forefront. And the brother was always at the back. Moses was at the center of it, at the center of it all, because God was at the center of his life. May that God of possibility be at the center of your own life too. May he begin to stir things up for you, that things will turn out well. Realize that you are not alone. You are not neglected. You are not abandoned. Neither are you forsaking. God is with you. Emmanuel. Emmanuel is with you. Moses was like a god to Pharaoh. Hey, imagine that. Pharaoh that wanted to eliminate all the baby of the Hebrew. Moses became like a god to him. Why? Because God was at the center. God of possibility. May God turn those things that make you afraid. May God turn it around. Every impossibilities in your life. May it encounter God and there will be a turning around. In the name of Jesus. You will be a God to your enemies. You will become untouchable. Unshakable. Immovable. Unstoppable. In the name of Jesus Christ. Moses was able to speak. And have dialogue with God from time to time. You will begin to hear from God directly. On the voice of God, you will hear, this is the way. And you will go, because he will guide you, he will keep you as the apple of his own eyes. And you will come back with testimonies. You will encounter the miraculous. This is it. If God can recognize Moses and his humble beginning, that God will recognize you too. And he will lift you higher, far beyond your own imaginations. Remember, Moses lived about 120 years. His long and varied life can be divided into three parts, each of 40-40. The first part of his life, he spent it as an Egyptian pharaoh, lived in the palace of Pharaoh as a prince. The enemy of his life, at the beginning of his life, he lived in his courtyard, raised under his roof, eat his food. And the second part of his life as a shepherd, because God was with him. God of possibilities. Ah, every antagonist of your life that will be a turnaround, that they will, they, they will rally around you. They will rally around you to make you great. If it happened in the life of Moses, it will happen in your life. It will happen in your life. You are the next in line. I remember the last bit of his year. As an esteemed leader of Israel, at the time of his life, that Moses, towards the 120th year of his life, the Bible recorded that he had perfect eyesight and incredible strength. You can look at that in Deuteronomy 34 verse 7. Deuteronomy chapter 34 verse 7. He says, Moses was 120 years old when he died. His eyes were not dim nor is natural vigor diminished. May you have strength to your old age that you will be able to possess all your possessions and you will stand out. 
you will outclass all your mates, you will outrun your colleagues in the name of Jesus Christ. Realize that Isaiah 60, Isaiah 60, verse 1, it says, Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. This is the season that the word of God is coming to you directly, and you will rise and shine because God of possibilities we shine your his light into every areas of your darkness we shine his light to all opposing forces to all the forces of darkness holding you down holding you hostage holding you captive and they will you will be released in the name of jesus christ everything that belongs to you that the enemy has caged that the enemies has put in their prison ah as you are listening to the word of God, I decree and declare that the season, that the light of God will shine and percolate to every areas of your life that you will become unstoppable. You are shining because you are, you, 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 are, you are shining light. I want you to take these four points. God of all possibility. One, land that challenges and obstacles will make your life interesting no matter how difficult or terrible but overcoming them will make life more meaningful and god will enable you to overcome every terrible challenges and obstacles number two realize that a path without obstacles leads nowhere so i do not know the obstacles that is along your way at the moment but those challenges are obstacles they will become the springboard that will make you to climb to greatness in the name of Jesus Christ. Number three, there is no joy in victory without running the risk of defeat. I say this again, there is no joy in victory without running the risk of defeat. So do not fear, don't tremble. God is the center of it all. You will have joy as victory is your portion in the name of Jesus. Lastly, number four, the past is always a nice place to visit. But certainly not a good place to stay. If you drive, your, the, 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 the manufacturers have designed the car with mirrors at the sides to look at the back and perhaps one at the center. You are not to focus permanently on those mirrors looking at the back. But you are allowed to look at it frequently. And again, they designed the car with reverse that you can drive backward. You cannot drive backward for two kilometers. If you are driving in UK, you will be stopped. You are only allowed to drive or reverse backward for a moment to navigate so that you can move forward. So it doesn't matter you are, if things seem going backward. Just reflect. Looking backward, you will gain momentum and energy and you will prepare forward without any hindrance in the name of Jesus. This is the season you become unstoppable because God of possibilities is in the center of it all. I'm your host, Pastor Richard. Thank you for listening. And uh, I hope we will be together. I'm done for today's live broadcast. So we meet next Tuesday, next Tuesday, same time. Stay tuned and stay connected. Thanks. Do you feel a sense of uncertainty or spiritual disconnect? Meet Pastor Richard Opadare, the senior pastor and founder of Christ Family Assembly Outreach, London. A father, husband, and pastor with a prophetic anointing, preaching the undiluted Word of God worldwide for over 15 years. He is a teacher, author, and professional counselor, both therapeutic and spiritually, and is here to inspire your divine breakthrough. God continues to use Pastor Richard to encourage both young and old, male and female, and most especially couples. He is the editor-in-chief of the Awesome God magazine and your host of Awesome God. Listen here every Tuesday on PRZFM, 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. And be greatly blessed. Oh, share your name.